The sentence I hear all the time, how do I stop swinging it over the top? Well, this video is gonna show you how. What does swinging over the top means? It mostly means that you're swinging it out to in and on occasions it's steep, which causes the ball to move from left to right if you're a right-hander. And also, it's that feeling of a slice that nobody particularly likes. Everybody wants to swing it shallow, more on the inside, to get that feeling of drawing the golf ball. But why do we swing it over the top? I think it's the thought of, I've got to hit it hard got to hit that ball hard from the top of my backswing. So in this video, we're gonna talk about why you do it and the swing thoughts that you can use to make that ball go in the draw direction. So I'm gonna show you that over the top swing. You get to here and then the club moves out. Can you see how the club head is outside my hands? And then it comes across the ball to the left hand side. Now, as I mentioned, I think a theory to this is at the top of your swing, you think see ball, hit ball, I want to hit it as hard as I can. And you almost have that nailing it into the ground feeling of, yes, I'm going to hit this really hard. And that's what makes the club go out. Another reason, I think, is that there is a, a swing thought that you need to open up. You need to open up your hips, open up your body, really turn through it. So people get to the top and then from here, they just turn their hips and look what happens. My hips are wide open, my club head's out here. So there's two reasons I think why you swing it over the top. Now I've got to try and change those myths with these ideas. I'm going to give you some swing thoughts that you can use prior and during your swing to stop that over the top motion. Firstly, let's think of other sports. Think about David Beckham, if you're into your football, or Owen Farrell if you're into your rugby. When they're kicking the ball with their right foot, where do they stand when it comes to a free kick or a penalty? They stand to the left-hand side of the ball because they want to be coming in at this angle, and especially with Beckham, how he gets that right-to-left swing, that draw, he wants to hit the ball from the inside. So his foot motion is this way. You won't see them stand over here to kick it right footed. That's what you're doing when you're swinging over the top. It's so, like, um, oh, I'd have to go this way. Just doesn't make a lot of sense. So in order to get the whip on the football or the rugby ball, or in this case, the golf ball, we have to imagine that we're gonna be coming at the ball from this angle, this inside angle. So think of it that way. What does David Beckham do? He comes in from this way and he hits inside of the ball to the outside of the ball to generate that right to left curling spin if you're a right hander and you want to draw the ball. The next thing to think about is not necessarily opening your hips at the top of your swing. I know I can't believe I'm saying this but I don't want you to open your hips. I want the feeling of them staying closed. So if I bring the club down now and feel like my hips are still closed pointing this way I can get that club more behind me into that slot that I was talking about earlier rather than opening everything up. So just allow yourself to stay more closed pointing this way with your body in the downswing. So we've thought about what the club does, we've thought about what the body does, now we're going to think about what the arms do or the hands. Really nice thought this in your golf swing that from the top of your golf swing we're going to try and put your hands into your back pocket, into this right pocket if you're a right hander. So from the top, put it in there. You can see then the club head is now behind my body rather than out in front of my body. So that is over the top and steep. This feeling, I'm closed with my body. I'm thinking about David Beckham not a bad thought, and then putting my hands into my right pocket there. Everything is then suddenly behind me in order for me to swing from in to out. 
So there's three things that I believe you can think about pre and during your swing to stop you swinging it over the top and to get more of that draw feel, shallow feel that everybody wants. I hope this video helped and you can transfer it onto the golf course. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please like, comment and subscribe to our channel.